Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video and this is Herban inks comparison. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. So the first ink I have is Herban Orange Indian. Now it used to be called J Herban and then Jacques Herban and now just Herban. This is a French ink manufacturer. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And we'll do another second pass over the top here. Just going to do an extension here. And this is a really lovely orange ink. So this is Herban. And it's orange Indian. Now, the issue that I have with these J. Herban bottles is it's very difficult to get a nib into, or a very large size nib, this is number eight size nib, into these bottles. And I'm just gonna show you here, once you put that lid on, you really can't get that nib in very far. The next ink is Herban Poissier de Lune. So let's take a look and we'll do an ink swatch here. This is a really lovely color, and it was a color that I avoided for some reason for a very long time. And I then decided to get a bottle of this, and I absolutely love it. It's a really nice color. So this is Herban. And it's Poissier. And I do not speak French or do not speak French very well, so I am probably mispronouncing that. And it's De Lune. The next ink is Herban and it's Eclat de Saffur. And this is a new ink that I've purchased recently. And let's do an ink swatch here. So I wanted, basically I wanted a sort of faded blue with a hint of lavender or lilac. And I wanted to basically replace what was my Papi of Plume Forget-Me-Not ink. And this actually comes pretty close to that. It's not perfect though. So this is Herban. And it is Eclat de it's Saphir. But that really is a beautiful colour ink. And I did actually buy two bottles as well. Now I did say that I don't like the small J. Herban bottles. So this one, I actually, I think I had four bottles at one point and I decanted it into a Twisby bottle. So this is Herban Lee de Te or Tea Leaves. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I've heard some people say that this is quite a dry ink. I have never actually found this to be a dry ink myself. And you can see here, it's quite a wet ink. Now it's possible that there might be varying batches and some have been a little bit more drier. So this is Herban. But you can see that that's quite wet. And this is Lee de Tay. And it's got an accent over the E. 
The next thing I actually have uh, is another one that I decanted, but unfortunately it leaked and I stuck some sellotape over this label and it all got under the sellotape. But this is Amber de Bermany. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see that lovely sort of brown amber or ombre. And again, I do find that this is quite a wet ink as well. So this is Herban. And it's Ombre. I think it's RE and not ER. I can't see because the label is a bit inked up. It's Ombre de Bermany. But that for me is a lovely sort of autumny brown colour. And typically around September, October time, this is when I use that colour more. And then we get on to the special inks. So 1798 this is. And this is Amethyst de l'Oral. And you'll see here it is a glitter ink. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I'm hoping that I can show you the amount of glitter from this. So this is Herban. And it is Amethyst. De and it's L'Oreal. And I can already see the glitter. The next ink is from the 1670 range. And this is Herban Rouge Hematite. And you can see there the glitter on the base of that bottle. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now I do find that this tends to be a little bit more on the drier side. And typically red inks do tend to be a little bit more drier. So this is Herban. And it's Rouge Hematite. But this is a really lovely red ink with a lot of gold shimmer on there and a little bit of sheen as well the next bottle is another 1670 bottle and it's herban and it's emerald of cheval and you can see here the lovely green glitter so we'll do an ink swatch And we'll do a second pass there, just so that you can see it a little bit more. And it's Herban. And it's Emerald of Chavor. But that is quite a nice sort of greeny Christmassy ink. And then the last ink here is Herban 1670. And it's stormy grey. And this has some lovely gold shimmer particles in that grey ink. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I do find this a little bit more on the drier side, I would say. Another pass there. So this is Herban. 
and it's stormy grey. But this is a really lovely grey ink. So I think let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So we have Herban Orange Indian, which is a very lovely orange coloured ink. Now the only issue that I find with this ink is that it tends to be a little bit more on the dry side in some of my pens. There's a little bit of shading there, but not a lot. There's no sheen. And then we have Herban Poissier de Lune, which is a really lovely colour ink. Uh, the writing sample is a lot more darker, I would say, than the ink swatch there, but it's quite a nice ink. There's not a lot of shading, though, on that ink at all. And then we have a new ink that I purchased recently, Herban Eclat de Saphir. And that is a really lovely sort of almost blue lavender or blue lilac uh, colored ink. It doesn't have, again, a lot of shading, but you can see the difference between a wet and a dry nib. We have Herban Lee de Te, which is a lovely brown sort of tea color or tea leaves. You can see a little bit of a difference there between what is a wet nib and a dry writing nib, uh, but there isn't any shading going on there. And then we have the lovely Herban Ambre de Bermany. And this is a really lovely sort of autumny amber color. Again, not a lot of shading, maybe just a tad shading, but you don't notice it a huge amount. And then we have Herban, and this is Amethyst de l'Oral. And this is one of the newer shimmer inks. And you'll see here that hopefully you can get it on camera that there is quite a bit of shimmer going on on that ink and it's really quite nice there you go and then we have herban rouge hematite which is this lovely red color now it does have a bit of a like a bronzing sort of effect going on a bit of rusty effect that you can see there on that color but although it's got a lot of shimmer particles within the ink, you don't see a lot of them come out on the ink swatch or when you're writing. At least I don't see it myself. And then we have Herben Emerald of Chavour. And this is a really lovely shimmer ink. It's a green ink, but you have gold shimmer there going on. And that really is quite nice. And again, you can see the difference on both of these between a wet and a dry nib. And then the last ink is Herban Stormy Grey. And again, this is a really sort of shimmery sort of gold. There you go. You can just see that there. So a lot of gold shimmer. So that's my Herban Inks comparison video. If there are any inks here that you like, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any Herban inks that you like that I haven't shown here on the comparison today, then also do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Herban inks comparison video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.